like The Hunger Games, we will learn more about Jennifer Lawrence, who plays Katniss in this film. Stay tuned, because today's video is dedicated to her life career and, of course, her vast car collection. Jennifer Schrader Lawrence, an American actress who has been dominating Hollywood since 2016, is one of the highest paid actresses in the world. She was born in Kentucky, America on the 15th of August 1990. Lawrence attended Camera Middle School in Louisville for her education. Lawrence's extracurricular interests at school included cheerleading, softball, field hockey and basketball. She participated on boys' teams under her father's coaching. Her brothers Ben and Blaine were a part of her early years. She was a tomboy and rarely played with girls. She became anxious because she felt different from the other students in her class. She believed she shone brightest on stage, which was the only place she felt she did. She took to the stage in a lot of plays at church and school since she liked performing. She was seen by a photographer while on vacation in New York who then arranged for her to meet with commercial and television agencies. Her mother was apprehensive and opposed her pursuing an acting career because she was just 14. She persisted and eventually asked her mother to sign her up with the CESD talent agency. The only stipulation was that she had to first complete high school before her parents would approve. She ultimately chose to start her profession by graduating two years early from high school. A little part in the TV pilot Company Town, which was neither sold nor broadcast, served as Lawrence's acting debut. She then appeared on various TV shows as a guest. Lawrence made her acting debut in the 2008 drama film Garden Party, in which she portrayed the disturbed adolescent Tiff. Lawrence portrayed Katniss Everdeen in the 2012 film version of the first book in the trilogy The Hunger Games by author Suzanne Collins. Despite being a fan of the books, Lawrence was first apprehensive to accept the role due to the epic nature of the movie. Her mother persuaded her to accept the role in the project. Lawrence collaborated with David O. Russell on the biographical film Joy, in which she portrayed the lead role of the same name. A difficult single mother who finds the miracle mop and goes on to become a prosperous businesswoman. Throughout the film, Jennifer Lawrence has a lot of breakdown scenes to portray. She played Mystique in the first two instalments of the X-Men film series and appeared in numerous other films, including the other two in the Hunger Games trilogy. She has had four Academy Award nominations and at the age of 22, she won the award for actress in a leading role for the film Silver Linings Playbook making her the second youngest recipient of the award for Best Actress. One of Hollywood's most skilled and adaptable actors is Jennifer Lawrence. She is renowned for speaking up and expressing her opinions without hesitation. These are just a handful of the many explanations for her immense popularity and admiration on a global scale. Because of this, she has ample funds to spoil herself with luxurious items like vehicles. With that said, Let's see what car she has in her collection. Here are nine cars we can see in Jennifer Lawrence's garage. Number nine, the Tesla Model S. The first expensive vehicle in Jennifer's lineup is the Tesla Model S. The 2012 debut of Tesla's Model S, a five-door liftback vehicle that runs entirely on electricity. In 2020, a new, longer Model S was released and Jennifer now owns one. One of the Model S's best-selling vehicles is the Model 3, which will overtake the Model S as the best-selling premium sedan in the world in 2021. A 100 kilowatt per hour lithium ion battery powers the Model S, giving it a maximum range of 402 miles with a maximum output of 824 horsepower front and rear combined and a 1,300 newton meters of torque. Utilising the integrated charger, the battery can be topped up. The automobile has a special autopilot feature that enables it to run on its own without the driver's input. The starting price for this stunning Sedan is just under $80,000 and the price may go as high 
as just over $125,000. In Jennifer Lawrence's garage, the Model S is the best car. Number eight, the Tesla Model Y. Although it's not the most liked EV in the United States, the Tesla Model Y is a good choice. Can you still afford it? It is advisable to conduct research before spending more than $60,000 on a new vehicle. The Tesla Model Y has proven to be one of the most well-liked EVs all around the world, despite having a high beginning price. In comparison to a comparable Model 3, the Tesla Model Y isn't quite as quick. While the top-of-the-line performance model has a stated 0 to 60 mile an hour time of 3.5 seconds, the long-range version can go from 0 to 60 miles an hour in just 4.9 seconds. And from the driver's seat of the Tesla Model Y, everything is almost the same as it is in the Model 3, with one exception. As a result of the chairs' stilted construction, you sit substantially higher, practically gazing down at the dashboard. Number seven, the Cadillac CTS Coupe. A mid-luxury vehicle, the Cadillac CTS Coupe is available for Jennifer. The executive style looks to be perfectly up Jennifer's alley, which has been produced through three generations. A 6.2 litre V8 engine that produces a maximum of 640 horsepower is found in the supercharged CTS Coupe. The only drivetrain option is a manual transmission, and it is just rear-wheel drive. It might seem heavy, but the car's drive shafts, which are powered and electronically controlled, make the ride seem flawless. A very well-balanced ride is believed to be a feature of the CTS Coupe. It is simple to control, responsive, and comfortable on both the track and the streets. There is a touring mode available on the vehicle, which improves both its comfort level an immaculate driving prowess. It has a 3.6 litre direct injected V6 engine that can generate 304 horsepower. It has the option of rear wheel drive or all wheel drive layouts with a six speed manual or automatic gearboxes. Additionally, the car includes a touring mode that improves its comfort and faultless handling. Number six, the Audi Q7. One of Audi's most luxurious SUVs is the Q7. Both its technology features and driving prowess make the newest Q7 debut in 2021 incredibly entertaining. It is currently offered as a mild hybrid or plug-in hybrid, which is perfect for those who care about the environment. The driver can select from a variety of drive modes, including comfort, which will result in lighter steering and dynamic, which will result in a more responsive vehicle. With three engines available, the Audi Q7 is well equipped. Diesel and gasoline make up two. They are all three litre V6 engines that receive help from a tiny battery and a belt alternator from a 48 volt mild hybrid system. Number five, the Volkswagen EOS. I give her points for driving a Volkswagen EOS, even though they may not be the type of vehicle you would expect a Hollywood star to own. It's a pretty basic vehicle that the German company stopped producing back in 2015. A sporty little cabaret with two doors and a basic look, but plenty of inside room is the EOS. The convertible roof is the coolest feature and gives it a slightly Hollywood-esque spin. The 1.4 litre or the 1.6 litre engine, both with manual transmissions, is the most often used model of the EOS. Even though there is one of her many vehicles, it is modest. Number four, the Chevrolet Volt. The Chevrolet Volt has a somewhat more contemporary yet comparable look. An electric vehicle called the Volt was no longer produced in 2019. 17.1 kilowatt per hour of lithium ion batteries are used to power the electric motor. It typically has a range of 420 miles which is quite good for a cheap plug-in vehicle. A lesser mileage of 480 miles is available in Volt's models from earlier generations. Still, that's perfect for a Hollywood starlet to roll around at a slow pace. For individuals who care about the environment, the total electric capabilities of the Chevrolet Volt's more recent models is fantastic. The hybrid is the most popular variant since it can continue to operate on gasoline after exhausting its 310 mile range. 
Number three, the Cadillac Escalade. The Cadillac Escalade has long been the brand's flagship. Its enormous size and intimidating appearance promoting its outgoing, red-blooded American approach to luxury. The 6.2-litre supercharged Ecotec 3 V8 engine from General Motors generates 414 horsepower and is connected to a 10-speed automatic transmission. All-wheel drive is standard. The SUV is based on the GMT T1XX chassis. The Escalade can go from 0 to 60 miles an hour in 5.9 seconds. The Escalade raises the bar for in-cabin luxury as the flagship. The base luxury trim has faux leather, but all additional trims have genuine leather. An upscale appearance is provided by the dash and door panels being upholstered in leather, the speaker grills being made of aluminium, and the adjustable ambient lighting. Number two, the Mercedes-Benz S-Class. This Mercedes-Benz S-Class is one of the collection's most opulent and potent sedans. Under the hood of the S-Class is a potent 4-litre, 430 horsepower bi-turbo V8 engine. Screens come first in the S-Class, several of them in fact. There are up to five options for the Sedan, including a 12.3-inch digital gauge cluster and a huge central touchscreen. This latter feature, which works in conjunction with other techniques to give the screens a three-dimensional appearance, can be disabled if you'd like a more traditional look. A head-up display that has been upgraded will also show augmented reality navigation instructions. Number one, the Cadillac CT6. In Jennifer's garage comes another stunning and potent automobile, the Cadillac CT6. The three litre twin turbocharged V6 engine that powers the Cadillac CT6 is rather potent. 404 horsepower, and 400 pound-feet of torque are produced by this engine. For a vehicle like this, this amount of power is sufficient. The Cadillac CT6 has an initial US price of just over $97,000. This beast is a trifecta of performance, luxury, and wild appearance. Finally, I'd like to share one of my favorite quotes from the star of today's video. I learned that you can't have any expectations with life you never know what's going to happen. In life, anything can happen. When you anticipate how something will play out, life has a way of showing you that things can go completely in the opposite direction, leaving you perplexed as to why. Simply live your life to the fullest because you can never foresee what will happen in life. Instead of overthinking what could go wrong, think what could go right. Thank you for watching this episode. If you want to see other celebrity car collections, let me know in the comments below. Please make sure you like and subscribe to this video and channel, since that'll help us make more content like this for you to enjoy.